she wasn't copied, yeah. <laughs> That's just the culture. Uh, do you guys think Overlord is just a better Edwin? I personally like Edwin a lot, but Overlord's really good with this uh, setup. I'll try some Overlord. I like, I do really like Edwin though. Sandra Gosa Tempo. That was probably the worst option. Yeah, I mean, you could say Mex in, Hydra in, uh, Edwin too, though. I don't know. I, I want to get some practice with um, Overlord. I think he's a hero that has potential. And, you know, if I don't get my comfort pick of, like, um, Edwin or C'Thun or, like, Daryl, then, uh, like, so, sometimes I have to pick Overlord in, like, a tournament, and I want to be good at it when I, when I do. So we'll try to learn from chat. You guys know best. Teach me the ways of the Overlord. I have a like a general sense of how to play this hero. You know, you like you wanna you wanna be like playing mechs or menagerie and you're just like hero powering magnetic stuff or just like bolvars, just random things. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. This hero is pretty good. You just you're just like forced to play a certain way though. First step, get in hot tub. The second step, put on a bikini. Whoa. No one said anything about a bikini. I thought I was gonna raw dog it. Step four, profit. Oh man. Is it really worth that much though? Record, no record. Uh, I'll put it in, but I think this is my last game, so I just kind of didn't want to do it. Oh hey, it's E B F R L H one one. He's in our chat sometimes. Should we make a big dude here? I think it's kind of awkward to do it. Like I don't want to do it now. It would be good now for later, but I think I'm just gonna take these two. And uh, we can stick a gem right now. We're like kind of weak. Let's do it. You have a Borat mankini you can borrow? You, you want it back? But it'll have my my juices on it. My sweat. You know you can wash clothes? No, I didn't know that. I think you're lying to me, Nina. Show pick in Discord? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> the Fire Academy for Fire Department Nerds or Degree Strike. 100% military decorum getting streamed at Demeaned. Uh, wait, what's the context here? Oh. Uh, I really don't want to hero power this. It just sucks.
I get a five attack. I mean, the other option is rolling. I guess let's do it. Fine, whatever. Do I want to use it this turn or next turn? I mean, I want to use it next turn because I want to level up next turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it. Next turn I want to level up and buy and then hopefully find stuff. Check, wait. Oh man, it actually mattered. That's pretty sick that it did something. Though like, I didn't think the attack buff would do anything this turn, but it did and it's great. Okay, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna stay. Roll once or I could take this. I could take this and if I want something, I'll just sell off this for it. How do I play this out? So next turn I level up, I hero power this, I buy it. I guess I can buy this too, right? I have enough gold for that or no? No, I don't have enough gold for that. That's eight gold. I don't have that. I don't have eight gold. That's ridiculous. Do I even still freeze for this? This isn't that good. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not great though. We don't only have one HP. Yeah, I don't think I want to hero power that. I'll try to find something else another turn. I want to hero power something that can get reset or has more HP. And like, maybe I didn't have to use this. This actually didn't seem that necessary this turn. I may not even get this ward in the vault. Yeah, this turn was just super sloppy. Mm, this is why I don't want to play anymore. Because these turns just suck. I'm playing so badly. Like, this should be so, so much earlier. Okay, let's level up and roll. Oh, we did find the Argus. That's pretty good. I might as well hero power this. Just because I don't want to roll and I do want the Argus. So, let me think about how I want to do this. Do I just taunt these two up? I don't think I taunt on my Deflecto. I could take this too, but mm, it's not it's not bad either. This guy has four triples or three triples. Jesus. Maybe I want both, and I just want the scale band this turn. Then I think that's the most reasonable play here. And then yeah, I really really wish I held that gem. I may just get out of this pretty soon. Shouldn't I just stay at 3 and look for arm and deflector though? Not really. Like, if you're looking for tier 3 cards and you can afford to, which is almost always, you should just go up to, um, you should just go up to 4, because it's higher odds for you to find things that you want on tier 4. And it goes a long way, right? Like, the earlier you go there, you get like a compound effect of getting um, getting the cards you want. Like you're seeing so many more extra minions every single turn. It's a huge deal. Am I playing this hero correctly, guys? Did I figure out how to play this hero? I think I did. I think I know everything. I'm the best. I'm the absolute best in the world. 
Uh, this is kind of awkward though. I can only hero power one of these things next turn. Unless I want to level up hero power and then freeze, which is also not bad. I may end up doing that. Hmm. I am the best that no one ever was. Maybe just level up and I take this next turn then. That seems kind of better. I think I can try to go for like Menagerie. Let's just do this then. I don't think I have to stay tier 4. I think with this, with this start I can go for a win. Like, usually I think you just play um, pretty heavily on 4, but with this type of start, it's actually so insane. Hey! How's it going, Rain? I did enjoy playing, yeah. It's a lot of fun. A lot of uh, very, very skilled players. Thank you guys for organizing it. Always a happy day when there are BG tournaments. Yeah, look forward to seeing how day two pans out. Okay, so I don't think I want this. I could actually take it though, right? What if we uh, level up and go for a six and find... Um, I don't know. What if we find like... Flat Tusk, and then we just find um, Agum. Then we have Menagerie set up, right? I think I like that. 100% would like to get your feedback organized uh, afterwards. Yeah, for sure. Um, I guess if you're here right now, I have uh, some feedback. Um, yeah, I think the round zero, it's like really interesting to allow everyone to be able to play, but, um, I don't know, like the five and six people in lobbies seem kind of, they're like way different than normal BGs. It's like, it's okay though, because you don't have to play two, but I wonder if there's like some way to make it so... You could do like maybe round one is um, maybe round one is like what am I trying to say? Maybe round one is like um, like everyone gets to play, and then everyone goes into eight people lobbies except like if there's leftover, just like give buys to those people. And then have it like cut out to 32 or whatever the the next closest multiple of eight is but again like it's not that big of a deal though but that's one thing that I I think I kind of like just having like a quicker uh, elimination round with like normal lobbies Ooh, Nadina is pretty good here actually Nadina with more like uh, buffed up dragons. <laughs> Big topic of discussion. Yeah, I feel that. Um, what am I doing here? I think I'm still just trying to look for menagerie stuff. I passed ground shaker because I don't know how I'm going to make that work. I don't like really want this either. I want to find a Menashe card like that with our three tribes. And then I guess if I wanted to, I could just play the, um, the Nadina now. 
but then I'm board locked in for a little bit which isn't a huge deal I think I want to I want to be strong as possible here let's do this Um, and then what else? I guess the... I, I wish there was like a rule, uh, a pin like rule thing or a document at the start. Because I wasn't too sure when things were going to start. I think today at least, I thought the... I thought everything was going to like start at, uh, what was it? at 12, uh, 12 p.m. PST. So I thought I was okay to check in at like uh, 12.40. But then I saw the check-in was like 12, uh, was like, it was like 11.30 and then I missed it. But I still got added in because um, I guess it wasn't that hard to, to add me back in. Um, but yeah, I think it's my main two things. Other than that, things are pretty good. I didn't really watch the stream because I was playing, but um, yeah, that's what I can think of right now. I don't know what I'm going to be doing here. Maybe I just take this now. What if I just find like two more deflectors or one more deflector here? And then I'm just this really stupid build. I think that's kind of where this is going right now. I can't really fit in life thing here. I think I'm just going to be doing some really dumb shit right now. Um, I kind of need a taunt. I need another taunt because I have so many things I need to attack. Oh man, this is such a disaster. Mithrax triple is fine. You gotta run, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks again. Yeah, I'll let you know if I do end up uh, watching. Hey, we killed the evil witch. No, we didn't. We didn't kill the evil witch. Oh my god. Why is it still alive? What? I thought my cleave was big, but I guess it wasn't. I guess it was super small. Damn. That sucks. Okay, we still tie at least. God damn, though. Yeah. My cleave's only like 10 attack, right? It's actually not that big. Okay, so I'm not going to take this because I'm not a flat tusk. Um... I could have hero powered the divine shield, but I don't really want to. What else am I hero powering though? Maybe it is just hero power this actually. I'm like super, super, super off right now. I can sell this off now and play this way. And then, uh, yeah, like maybe get rid of this soonish. I don't know. This one doesn't scale anymore. And then I think they're going to have a Divine Shield taunt, so we should probably play around that a little bit. Maybe I'll do something like this then. Alright, be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom.
All right, I see we have uh, destroyed our competition completely. That was like not even close, huh? Not close at all. I might die to a Cali gamer here, though. Okay. Uh, there we go. The good shit. <laughs> I think I just saw off Hydra here. Hydra is too small to be uh, relevant. And then I play Mithrax, where I just buy like uh, a ton, I guess. A ton's not terrible. I was really hoping for a reset more than anything else. But I think the ton's probably it's more reliable. Happy now? I'm pretty happy, yeah. This has been a good game. We're still at 27 too. I should probably uh, look to go up soon. Uh, the extra taunt's actually bad for me. No, well, I mean if I win the 50-50, I guess it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good if all the hits go <laughs> well for me. Was that Dom? Thanks to the happy cow. I was about to thank Nina because Nina's voice. <laughs> It's got Nita's voice in my head. spot here. Gomez, I'm not gonna pet you. I'm not petting you. How do you like that? Why don't you just sit back down? Because I'm not gonna pet you. I'm gonna wait and wait and wait. You're not gonna get any pets. Two tribe Mithrax. Exactly. This is this is what's good. God, one off again. It's deja vu. Holy shit, I'm about to get destroyed. Oh man, this is so dumb. I guess we don't lose by too much though. This could have been way, way worse. Oh hey, knee jets there for the kiss.
All right, so my prediction here is that uh, Janice is going to beat this dude there and kill him, murder him. Maybe. Actually, it's close. The golden boat definitely changes things. Hmm. I don't know how I want to play this. Wasn't I, like, unfavored against this guy? Because he had the, uh, the ghoul. Pretty sure I need to not put these up front. I need to put like uh, I don't know, like a random this thing up front. I need to put this here. I don't think I'm gonna freeze the max now. I was considering it very, very heavily though. I mean, it's a mech build. It's pretty scammy, I'm sure. I think I really want to find a another deflecto. Actually, that would be probably the best thing I get, and module would be super good too. Yeah, module and uh, deflecto. And if I have to choose which one to hero power, I'm hero powering deflecto. Oh my god. Look what I found, guys. Look what I found. Oh my god. I found the good card. Amazing. Wow. So amazing. We have uh, three deflectos, and they're all menaced, and we have a module too! We have it all! We truly have everything that we want in this game. Oh my god, man. What the actual hell? I don't think this is good anymore. I'm gonna sell like this and this off. I'm gonna module up like this dude. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna do this. And then I think I'm just gonna play uh, my extra, and I'll put this as cleave protection. And then we should be good. Look at this absolutely stupid build. It may be stupid, but this is my build. Why not triple? I don't want a triple. I want to have three deflectors. Three deflecto good, two deflecto bad. Like, actually, look how good this stuff is, though. This is fantastic. They're all, like, super well statted as well. Just enough to kill off his minions. Alright. I have, like, two YouTube games today. I haven't uploaded to YouTube in a while. But I got this game, and then I got the um, that Brav game I played in the tournament. Or I just won like all my bets, and I bet 11 times. I didn't bet every single turn.